You may have heard of Google Voice, but you're not necessarily sure what it is, how you would use it on your iPhone, and how it's different from your main phone number. I'm going to walk you through all of those things. The first thing we'll do is head into the App Store here and just search for Google Voice here. You can see here it is Google Voice created by Google themselves. And now you can just download and install it onto your iPhone. Now, after it's downloaded and installed, you'll be able to see a screen that looks like this. Let's open it up and I'll walk you through exactly what this is. So it says, welcome to Google Voice. You can talk, you can call, and you can customize how communications work on your devices. Now, essentially, your iPhone, if you have a carrier plan through at and Verizon, whatever, you have a phone number associated with that. However, what Google Voice is, is it takes your Google account, your Gmail account, and allows you to create or have an assigned phone number associated with that Google account. Now, all of the calls and text messages, et cetera, that are made are just happening over Wi-Fi or cellular data. So they're not going over through basically cell towers. They're not using cell towers themselves. They're just using Wi-Fi and mobile data to be able to make and receive calls and texts. Now on here, I can see Google Voice here. I'm going to switch to this account, switch to the Google account that you want, and I'll hit continue as Trevor. Now I'll show you kind of how it works. So as we go through this process, it will allow you to set up a phone number, bring in your contacts. Let's hit OK for notifications and continue for contacts. And I'll just share all of my contacts with Google Voice. Now, you'll see a screen that looks like this. The first thing I would recommend doing is tapping on the three lines at the top left of your phone here. And now let's tap on the settings here midway down. Once you're in the settings, you might need to get a Google Voice phone number if you don't have one already. So let's hit the get Google Voice phone number at the very top. Just tap on that select button. And now we'll just hit search. Keep in mind, it will go through the process of searching around where you are. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina, and it looks like there's some options. So basically, you can choose which phone number that you want. It gives you a few different options. You can always hit more if you wanted to choose more. Let's just choose this first one and hit select. Now, all I need to do is hit next, and I can verify. It says complete this step, claim your Google Voice phone number, and hit next. Now it says link your current phone number. So this is the phone number you have associated with your phone. It says inbound calls will be forwarded to this phone number. So I'm gonna enter in my phone number here for my phone and hit send code. And now I'll just enter that code in. And then maybe, oh, it wants me to use a different phone number. I already have a Google Voice associated with that phone number probably. So you might need to go in here and just use a different one. But after you set that up, so you have that Google Voice phone number, you can do a few things. You can tap on the keypad at the bottom right, and you can just start dialing somebody. So you can dial whoever you want and hit the call button, and it will call them from your Google Voice phone number. You can do the same thing with text messages. You can go back here and tap on the little message icon at the bottom right of your phone. You can tap on the pencil and paper and you can see, let's hit get started. And again, it's going to ask me for my Google Voice phone number, but it's basically just add that number and then you can start texting on here. Keep in mind, you can also send international texts and calls just by tapping on the three lines at the top left and then tapping on credit. You could always just add more credit on here and essentially by adding more credit, it will use your current balance. You can see I have eight bucks in there that will essentially use that if I wanted to call somewhere internationally. So instead of using my normal AT&T, I can call on Google Voice, which is a lot cheaper than using an external AT&T carrier and their international fees, et cetera. Now on here, you can do various things like filter spam tags, you can control the settings on here, etc. And at the very bottom left, you can tap on that phone icon. And then at the bottom right, you can tap on voicemail. If you do get a voicemail, again, same as your phone, you can just listen to the voicemail directly on here, you can call them back, it works exactly as if it's your normal phone number 
on your iPhone. 